Lamborghinis, and now, you know, they got 40,000 ones on the table. And so a friend of mine named Big Silk, uh, he's a big-time pimp out of Atlanta, you know, a former pimp. He's a preacher now. You know, he, he gave his life over to God. Him and I uh, was in the uh, lobby of, uh, in the uh, entrance of uh, one uh, Magic City, and Big Meech asked me and uh, <laughs> Silk to join. I, I looked at Silk, I said, hey, man, I just got out the fans a few years ago, man. I ain't joined this shit. You, know what <laughs> you I'm ain't with him? I said, I'm not joining this shit, man. We on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You said the bottle popping, um, uh, Big Meech and them. You ever run into them, into them clubs? Because y'all was partying at the same time. Big Meech and I were cool way before the hip hop, I mean, not, excuse me, the BMF thing even popped out. He had really? a little bitty BMF chain. You know, he wasn't even doing it like how people was thought he was doing it. But what was so unique about Big Meech, and I stole this thing, Big Meech would buy all the bottles and all the liquor, and he would, you know, get his name popping, you know, and uh, it just kept on going, man. Next thing I know, I pulled up one day to uh, Magic City. He got the big boy Phantom out there, you know. They got the uh, the drop, uh, what's those things with BMWs, you know. And now they pulling up in Lamborghinis, and now, you know, they got 40,000 ones on the table. And so a friend of mine named Big Silk, uh, he's a big time pimp out of Atlanta, you know, a former pimp. He's a preacher now, you know, he, he gave his life over to God. Him and I uh, was in the uh, lobby of, uh, in the uh, entrance of uh, one uh, Magic City, and Big Meech asked me and uh, <laughs> Silk to join. I, I looked at Silk, I said, hey, man, I just got out the fans a few years ago, man. I ain't joined this shit. <laughs> you know what you messing with him? I said, I'm not joining this shit, man. I, I, man, I seen so many crews, especially from his town, from Detroit, the Pony Boys. I was in jail with all them niggas, man. Bush Lewis, all them niggas. I was in there with them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I seen how the feds, you know, locked all them up, right? And then so, you know, I wasn't with it, you know what I'm saying? Like that, on that level. And then, you know, Big Meat, you know. I said, man, you know, I said, I said, man, that shit going. He said, yeah, man, you know, you gotta just live your life. And then, you know, I sold him two pimp cups. You know, cause oh, I used yeah? to sell the pimp cups for Debbie. You know, you know, Meech, you know, he gave me four thousand dollars for wow. two cups. I mean, it was just like he just reached. We was at uh, Justin sitting down eating, and the little bald head dude, I forget his name, but I know he's from. He was he wanted to reach Meech right, right here, man. It wasn't J Bo, the little dude. Uh, damn, I can't think of his name. But he gave me four thousand, and he said, I said, well. Give me, uh, we want me to take him to meet you. He said, just bring him back to Justin. So I brought him to Justin's and I set him up there. And, and I said, this for Big Meech. You know what I mean? He was just a baller, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the last time I seen Big Meech, we was in Miami. And uh, uh, he said something similar to what he said. I think he knew he was going down. He said something to the fact that, uh, yeah, man, nigga got to get it while he live. He got to live how he get it. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know, whatever happened, happened. At that time, I heard he, they was getting hot and that the feds might be on their case. So, you know, I, uh, you know, I seen the Phantoms, they had all this stuff and they had moved to Miami. Next thing I know, I seen, I'm watching, you know, news. the internet and the news, He's, he got indicted. But you know, one thing I liked about Big Meech, you know, he took he took a plea to save his niggas, you know, from having to, you know, stand Deal with before all a judge, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I think that that's a boss move, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that the fact that he was willing to go to prison just to keep from putting y'all on the stand, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna plead so y'all don't have to. Y'all don't have to stand up. And I, I think that's what uh, you know. Pretty much reason would save uh, the BMF and why it's still successful today and why they got the BMF special because he made a pro move. He was just a smart dude. Yeah. Me, Big Meech probably knew he was gonna take a cop. You know what I'm saying? Because he he just knew he he knew what he was doing. He knew the consequences of his behavior. And I personally heard him say that out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I know another time. <laughs> I tell this story. Everybody get mad at me, Cuckoo Cow, <laughs> and, uh, and and we all went to it was a, it's a it's a it's a hotel. I think it was called the So E or something like it was. It was right next to uh, Lennox Mall. Okay. You know it was called something else. So <laughs> Big Meech had a, a private party, and uh, we went to the party. And when we got to the party, it was weed in there. So Big Me said, all the weed you can drink, they give you singles when you come in there. So, you know, I don't tip. You know what I'm saying? So I put my singles in my pocket. <laughs> and I grabbed some weed and put some weed in my pocket. And Cuckoo Cow and uh, my band Cash Ball, they laughed at me. I said, man, I don't smoke, so I'm going to give this to my folks. I said, I don't tip, so I'm going to keep my money. 
You know what I'm saying? Me and you know that's just what that's just how they do. It. He just you know everybody know I'm not lying. Anybody listen to this? You know if they was there at their party, they had stacks of bills and all type of women dancing. You know, but that don't that don't excite me. So that wasn't my party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just you know coming with somewhere, and then uh, they gave you the weed was just in a jar, big ass bowl. All, all I mean, he was a player, man. Real you know, player. Uh, we was at uh, what's that? club called over there on uh, P Street. It used to be next to college. They changed it. I don't know what it's called. But uh, we was in there and uh, uh, Jeezy, Big Meech, all of them was in there. Man, them dudes had like a hundred bottles of nothing but Cristal. Wow. That shit was like four, five hundred a bottle back then. They wasn't tripping. Man, them boys was, man. You, you ain't never seen nothing like that before? Man. I mean, you know, since that? My brother was with me one time and they was tipping. And my brother in, in uh, Cashball, Cashball, he one of the ballers out of our city, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was getting a lot of money, but I, I never seen him be shocked. He looking at, <laughs> he looking at me, he's like, damn. He said, man, these motherfuckers got some money. You know, he never seen it, but he seen it. My brother Marvin, he was there. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.